I'm Barbara Jean. I am Jim's sister. I'm the second youngest. Jim was just younger than me. Um, you know, I haven't used it. Oh, okay. Yeah, I haven't used it. Okay. Uh, yeah, we came from a big family, but really there was only like the four of us left in the when we were growing up, the last four of us. All the other older ones, they were already grown, had families. The boys kept coming back and forth as, you know, they broke up with their girlfriends or whatever. They'd come home, but the girls never did. But um, I was thinking after Jim passed away, our family kind of, um, I don't know what it is, something really happened when the sister just above me, two years older than me, she got married, and I was 16 at the time, and uh, Dad and I had a big fight, and uh, I left home, I quit school, left home, and uh, I didn't think about it at the time, but Jim was 12 years old then, you know? And, okay, so then stuff happened, and uh, <coughs> I actually moved back to Mom and Dad's house, and Mom and Dad uh, bought a trailer and took Jim, 12 years old, up into camp, uh, Dad was a blaster, and he took correspondence for school. And, you know, I was thinking, I mean, he, um, he grew up in our family, but he didn't have the longevity of all of us, you know, um, always being back and forth and that. Um, so I think he, did, he might have felt differently, but... Um, He knew he was always loved, and for whatever reason, God only knows, um, I can never begin to think of what was going on in Jim's head. But um, when he decided to get a hold of us, he knew where to get a hold of us. And uh, that was the nice part. Um, we've all been sleuths in our lives trying to track different people down, and. Um, I've always managed to track Jim down, eventually, you know, um, yeah, um, it's, um, uh, it was always a rodeo, um, and I don't mean this disrespectful at all, because it was just my brother, I love Jim, oh, oh, I always will, um, but Mom, I think, put it so fittingly, and I don't know why. But she always said, you know, Jim Lynn would always tell a lie, even if the truth sounded better. <laughs> you know, and like, like, she said that, like when Jim was little. And I don't know why, but it's so fitting. And, uh, you know, it didn't mean it was, please don't take it to mean that I thought he was bad or anything, because he wasn't, he was just as bad as I am, and I'm pretty bad. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, um, it was a treasure having him as a brother when he was present. And I want to thank Linda so much. You know, I never give up on people either, and I, I don't give a heck who you are. If you're sucking air, you got a chance. You know, and every one of us are human, it just, doesn't matter. We're good, bad, ugly. We're we're everything, you know. And that's that's the beauty, you know. I don't have to be perfect, you know. And I don't mean this weird either. But the only last person I know that was perfect, they strung up on the cross. So I don't want to be that perfect. Um, thank you, thank you to all the people that knew Jim that uh, got pissed off at him and kicked him in the ass when he needed it because I'm sure he did over the years. I mean, come on, he's my brother. Um, but you were there and we were listening to a tape coming in today and uh, it was defining family. You know, um, oh God, broken down, come on, we're all family, you know? And I don't have to like all of you, just like I don't like all my family. But I gotta love you, you know, I, we're not, we're just here. We're all doing the best we can and, you know, if we just go about our lives having fun and helping each other, I think that's all we're supposed to do here. We're not supposed to be the end all be all. No, I don't know. I guess if I'm supposed to be, I missed it, but, uh, <laughs> oh well, I'll try it next time. Uh,
Um, thank you all for being here, and I'm so glad that we were able to come down and stay. Thanks.